Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. This week we are in a terrible care home. Not only terrible because it's been trashed, it's been done and people have been here before, but we want to tell you the story of the pain and the misery that went on behind these doors. Absolutely horrendous, isn't it? it what went off were just absolutely disgusting. Yeah. How the people lived here and were charged from a thousand pound a month. Thousand pound a month to basically be abused. That that was it, and it. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to show you around. Like I said, this place is totally trashed. It's been done by a thousand and one explorers before, but we've wanted to come here for a long time. We we are in and out of the city that it's in quite a lot exploring, and it's one that we've always had on our radar and we've never done. So even though it is trashed this building is what do you say 170 years old 1850 built yeah yeah so it's it's somewhere that needs a bit of love needs looking after and bringing back to its original glory because it's terrible it's a such a shame but anyway we'll get in and we'll show you see you in a minute right just head in well i'm heading into the back of andy's head at the moment how green that is right that's like something out of exorcist in yeah. it like proper spew on the wall kind of stuff. That's crazy. Or Slimer. Oh, Slimer from slimy, you know? Ghostbusters. Now the place itself, look at the the wood cladding and how high these ceilings are. It would have been an unbelievably amazing place. But look how trashed it is. And I don't just mean a little bit, I mean a lot. Look at the state of it in here. Look at books. I didn't notice those before. I walked past this room a minute ago. This fireplace would have been amazing, actually. Tomorrow's too late. That's a bit harsh on these old people, isn't it? <laughs> Forget about tomorrow. You're dead. <laughs> but it is a really, really old fireplace that's just been 80s-ified. Is that a, yeah, that's not the... They've tried to modernise it into the 80s from the... 30s. That's it, and they do that in all of these places, and they look amazing to start with, and then they ruin them. Right, just making our way into the next room, and this is like the entrance way. Not that we can fucking see it because our Andy's bonds. Look at it. In here. It's amazing, actually. Look at that. Look at that piano. I bet you can't get much of a tune out of that one, though. All the keys have gone. They're not keys, are they? Are they? Oh, they are. Yeah. Are they like fused together? How would that e ever even work? Damp. Must be. All expanded. All expanded, yeah. And is this right? Is it right? Which way are you walking? <laughs> is, is that garden for furniture inside? Yeah. Is, what's it made out of? Wood concrete. or concrete? Oh, look at that. Have you seen that stained glass behind your head? That's amazing. Although it's been Fucked, it? absolutely destroyed, but that would have looked amazing on a on a boiling hot day with light shining through it. Up, yeah. yeah. What a place. With piano at bottom. You can just imagine people coming down in a ball gown or something like that. Right. Is that... <laughs> Is that your face on wall? It's like your face, oh, and then a little demon sort of bent over, or is it a small child? <laughs> yeah. That's your eyes, nose, mouth. It's naturally done that, and then like head to one side, two big eyes, yeah, and a nose, and arm, and body. That's really weird. It's like something out of um, in the night garden. Eagle Piggle or Pink yeah, one of them. I couldn't remember, I couldn't remember the name. Eagle Piggle. Yeah. So, but this this entrance is amazing. I've, I'm actually astounded by how good it is. It's like almost like a church look. It's brilliant. So this place was eventually shut down for a catalogue of abuse, and the patients weren't just old. They were dementia sufferers, some of which were about Andy's age. It yeah. was really terrible. Some of the people were classed as being put in cells. The bedrooms were that bad. They were locked away, ignored, 
and it was just shut down for so many things. Didn't they forget to tell people about deaths? Yeah, ten that forget notify the Care Quality Commission that ten people had died. That's so bad. And one resident was seen like stuffing his own clothes into the window because the windows were broke, trying to keep warm. No way. I didn't realise it was as bad as that. Yeah, really bad. No running hot water, the boiling pans and stoves and things. It was just absolutely disgusting. That's terrible. So yeah, we just wanted to come here because these places always have a weird feeling about them. And it's been a while since we've been like a spooky one, isn't it? So, mm. But I just need to take the piss out of somebody now. Now, I don't know if you can see on this, this big table, I've just noticed there's been what they thought was a pentagram. Now, it winds me up so much when people do pentagrams, but actually they're doing a Star of David. So I don't know whether they're after Jewish ghosts <laughs> or or what, or people from Israel. Not, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it makes me laugh so much. And they, it's all on a, that's, is that all right? Yeah, that's that's how it should be. That there is how it should be, but that on there, is literally just it's when they do two triangles together in it absolute thickos right we've just found a downstairs which is weird because it don't feel like it's going to be a cellar <laughs> full height up there look. oh yeah but we're on ground level so it's really strange oh it's a bit a bit freaky down here the thing is since we've got these big torches Places seem less freaky than they used to, don't you think? Yeah, it's just like daylight almost. But even down here with the big lights, it's just got a bit of a like a psycho film feel, don't you think? Yeah. Can we lift? <laughs> Why can you just walk straight in? Jesus! Look how wet it is in here. It is. It's. Have you seen? I bet you haven't seen this. Um. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. So can't see it. That with hotel. There's one with hotel with Lady Gaga in it. One definitely not. Where there's some dead people in a basement. Just makes me think of that. That could be any, any if, other film. If you know what it's not our film, it's like a series. Oh. If you know what I'm on about, comment down below what it is, because I'm not sure. And what's that? Somebody's fucking nose. <laughs> Old person's nose. It looks a bit like yours. What the frigging hell is it? It's all styrene. Really strange. It's not. That's not a name. Po it's polystyrene. Polystyrene. <laughs> she were admitted in 1926 and never left. No demographic. Nobody will ever know that. You may as well say it now. You've started. Polystyrene was the lead singer of X-ray Specs. And I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm sure somebody will. Somebody will. But yeah, this is, this. this is freaky. This is, it. what does it make me think of as well? Like Chainsaw Massacre horror type film. Yeah. horror film, yeah. All the mold, You can imagine people being locked up down here. Oh, look at that. Whatever that is. Oh, it's making me feel sick. It's actually crawling with stuff. Oh my God. That's horrible oh, material. You know, like a big spider, like weaving. He's gonna run out from up there. Oh, fucking awful. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Oh, alien. And literally it's every horror film and like sci-fi film, all in one. And you can't even really get a full idea of how I'm glistening that. Yeah, I'm trying to get it with the light so you can see, but it's almost like jewels. Look at it though. It is literally like an alien's vomited on the wall. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is some mold, that isn't it? It really is. We've seen mold growth before, but this is a put your hand, level. Put your hand in that. No, shut the fuck up. Put your hand in, in that. Can go, on, in. go on, put your hand in it. Do it, do it. No, I can't. eat stuff. Surely you've got to put your hand in some mold. Come that's on. Not, that's not mold. It's literally like a spider's den in it, that. 
it is. Do it. That is freaky. Do it. Just put two fingers in. Wiggle them about. Says. <laughs> Just put two fingers in, wiggle them about. It made me squirt. Go on, go on. Oh. Oh, that's freaky. Does he smell? Yeah. It smells really bad. Come on. Come on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's really weird. Why are we obsessed by this corner? <laughs> Nailed some. Look at it though, it's just all peeling off the ceilings. I really wish you could see on camera how glistening that is because I can and it just looks weird. It's just mental that. I'm just going to try and see if I can touch it. I've never seen mold like that in my life at all. It's like cotton wool. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it's like you're not almost touching it, you can't almost feel it. It's literally you can't feel anything, can you? No, I can't hold torch and do it. Uh, why does it go black when you wipe it on wall? It's not black there. Oh, I think someone's had a turd in corner. That's anyway, let's stop being obsessed with that little thing in corner. Right, so I've just come into the female changing. I literally can't even see what it says because the mould. Look at it. Look at it down the wall. That's literally like someone's died and the bodily fluids have run down through the floor and covered everything. Look, they've come down through that hole up there and it's sticky and oh, it's vile. Really is like human body. I know I'm being a bit over the top, but that's just what it makes me think of. And look, see if I can show you. It's crawling, the stuff all over it. Flies. Right, what's, it's the washroom this, isn't it? Yeah, laundry. What's that say? Do not block or restrict. Oh, it's, uh, someone's obviously blocked it up and that's why we've got black stuff on the ceilings, but there, old. Oh look. It's taffy it's lad. Taffy. Oh, I haven't seen taffy for a while. But yeah, There's these are one mahoosy dryer. They are, but say this was running to 2015. Would you still be using no. huge originators? 30 plus from what year do you reckon? 60s, isn't yeah. it? Exactly. Yeah. So they're obviously not spending money. These these are old. These are newer than those, but they're still old, aren't they? Those. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So yeah, you can see the amount they actually give a shit about these people. It's all about that. For of course it is. A thousand. If you're paying a thousand pound a month minimum to stay somewhere like this. There's Forty-two, forty-five residents. So forty-five thousand pound minimum. minimum. Yeah. Per month, just think how much this place costs to run. Even if it costs half of that, you're still making twenty grand a month. It's it's ridiculous that they've not even replaced these things. I better pay the staff's minimum wage as well. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, these care homes and stuff. The the people. Well, in fact, didn't you read that half the people in here had got criminal records for abuse and things like that, yeah. and they'd not even done any CRB checks or anything. No checks whatsoever. So, because, don't get me wrong, there's some lovely people in care that, that work in care, but there's also some Bastards. nasty, horrible people. And I don't want to generalise because it's not always like that, but... Yeah. There's some saints. It seems like they all seem to come together in places like this, all together. It's because they're not going to get a job here, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. They're not going to check. I'm going to have a... I'm going to get you, I'm going to get paid, I'm going to abuse people. But in 2015, you'd think that it would have been past that. That's when it was shut down, I think. I'm not 100% sure. And I've seen videos on online. Yeah. From present day, where they're like slapping the old women in yeah. the face. It's and awful. Punching them just to force them to get into bed. And you, you think that if that were your grand or your mum. Yeah. You I'd go, find out I it would go. Great, absolutely pummel them, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd go absolutely mental me. I would sign me. Is that a, is that to iron stuff, sort of? I don't know what it is. Like a like press? A, like a roll. Uh, 
Oh, don't do that. What? I don't like it. I don't like it. I it's like it though. I don't like it. I've just told people what my third and final thing is that I don't like, and I, I have a phobia of cotton wool, and that is making me think of it, and it's disgusting. Right, just making my way down this corridor, and it is just so freaky. I can hear Andy banging about somewhere. I don't know where he's gone. I spent far too long looking at mould and things like that and obsessing over it and it's just disappeared. Oh God, this is, it is just like out of a horror film. <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus Christ, <laughs> Red. Oh my God, my heart. <sighs> Bloody hell, how long have you been in there? Too long, shot rare. Do you, are you bleeding? Is that blood behind you? You not cut yourself, have you? Oh, it looks dry, it looks... Is it blood? Oh, it's not dry. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if it's blood or something else, but I'd get out of here if I were you. Who's been, whose body's been put in there for a while? You thought that would be dry, wouldn't you? Yeah. So why wouldn't it be dry? Because it's just been done. That's what thing is it? I don't think so. Because it looks a little bit dry, like the bit that's run down there. No, that's not even dry. Oh, Jesus. All right, so we've just come in to a sort of, where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. And we've just come across this book. Now, I have got to be a bit careful because of surnames, but we're okay with first names. Yeah, but just first name apart from this one I've got just, on. just read the one about John and John's son because right, that... John which is John's son arrived he didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes <laughs> Jesus Christ how can psychopath you... coming in no, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes never let me in would they <laughs> what's Jesus he say God. about were it Betty oh Betty Betty's leg is sore and itchy. <laughs> Betty has developed bruising on her upper right arm. Please observe. Hmm. Wonder where that's come from. I can't. I don't. I want to show you so much. I can't. I can't really because it's a lot about names. Betty, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Betty slipped off her chair onto the floor. Mm, I'm no sure. injuries sustained. See care plan. Yeah, I'm sure I'm she sure weren't she shoved at all. Uh, and he's just found another <laughs> classic it's from classic, this book. This. I used to have this when I used to work in in retail. We used to have like handover books, and we yeah. always used to have like skittiness. But this is classic. It says, "Night staff, the beds were not stripped and chains. The pillowcases in room nine were dirty. K needs to stop telling porkies and do your job. <laughs> K, you know, little bag, <laughs> do your fucking do your job. Fucking job. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's terrible, really. The amount of." personal documents and things that are just left and thrown all over all over the floor and anyone can get over them can't they really it's, yeah it's not on we've just seen a full list of full names haven't we in there of, of people that were in here yeah or residents it's it's not fair at all i enjoyed that not quite good that. <laughs> Take that home for some nighttime reading. <laughs> that was to sleep. oh god back into the weird Strange corridors. Oh, we've got some stairs up there. They're not the ones we came down. I gave you my heart. Well, love is the greatest gift. <laughs> yeah. Not in this place. Jesus Christ. Yeah, not getting punched is the greatest gift. Surviving another day is the greatest gift without falling out of bed yeah. and having your pillowcases change cake. <laughs> right, just heading up. Is this the second or third floor we're going up to? Because we went down to the basement, he's thrown me. Home. Totally thrown me. That paper's they're oh, thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. I yeah, will say that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello. Somebody up there. Hello. down there as well. Right, I'm going up. What the fuck? 
Right, I, I've gone cold. Yeah. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hello? You just fart. <laughs> but they went that way and there's no way you can go. weird i'm gonna have to look back at the footage like the noise could be from there but i saw a leg 100 percent i saw a leg that, that ran out. it was like this <coughs> yeah that sort of noise right, i'm gonna have to watch this back <laughs> right so we've just looked back at the footage and there's definitely somebody at the top of those stairs, 100%. We've had a good look round and I don't know where they could have gone. They can't fit through that hole where them trees were. No. They can't get, we're up on one of the top floors, so there's no way they've escaped. Unless they've cut the centre strip through that window. Well, yeah, there's a window here, I'll show you. Yeah, so this seems like one of the only ways out, but if you look out of this window, right it's a right drop. Right, so we've just come into really weird bit that looks like it's it's had smoke damage so i'm guessing well it sort of kind of makes sense doesn't it if the smoke damage there's been a big fire jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ that is a big one and it looks like it's been used as well it's full oh, look at it in here yeah, but they're not. They're incontinence pads, aren't they? For the, the wee wee and the poo poo, just in case. Put some nappies on. But they're base, that's basically what they are. They're adult nappies. You will have those within five years. Mark my words. Whenever we go exploring, as soon as we get there, you need a wee. Every single time. Yes. So it is going to be you very, very soon. This room actually is a really nice big room. Isn't it? With this big window as well, it would have been lovely if it didn't have a tree outside it. But that looks comfortable. Probably would have been a comfortable chair that one bit. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's look, it's a sizable room with an ensuite. Well, I say an ensuite. Just a toilet. It's got its own shitter. We've seen this room. I know you've got to be careful because the floor down there is soaking wet. But when are these beds from? And look at this, this sink, it's, hot. it's like 60s isn't it? The beds look like prison beds. Like prison beds are they? They're awful, absolutely terrible. Well, mattresses have got PVC on because of this piss. Yeah, I bet it used but... to stink. Yeah, but how many, three people in here? What was that? Did you hear that? Mm. God was right on edge now. That was a leg. I'm going to show that clip again and see what people think if they didn't see it the first time because yeah. I'm telling you now, that was somebody moving. Uh, but yeah, see it goes up again. It went up. 100%. Must have been there. Yeah, that noise under foot. Oh, that, Stuff yeah. falling. I'm, like, this is on my back and it's all falling down my That's neck. That as well. It is. It, it could be a lovely room. But... It looks like it stayed in 1962 or something like this. Draft up here. That room's fell in somewhere. Yeah. Well, you, you can see, look at that. That Imagine the cloud of smoke along that level, about, what, five foot up or something, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be horrendous. I wonder if it happened while, it didn't happen while they were in here, did it? Never mentioned anything. No, it must have been after everybody left. Some vandals or something. Anyway, let's make his way up. 
Right, so we've just come to this window and we've just spent a good couple of minutes trying to work out how the hell they've got that out of there through that. Through so a tiny window. But then literally just come around this corner and this is how they've done it. So we're out on the, like on a flat roof. Look at the chimney. So we're right up at the top now. This building is amazing actually. This building's wonderful. Look at the old Victorian chimney breasts and chimney pots. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too far. <laughs> you know I like getting up high. I know. If I can get on the scaffolding, it's not so bad. Well, yeah, but Hamilton Palace didn't stop us, did it? That'd been up since 1980 summer. So I would like to. You can see people have been up there, yeah. but it's just weather. It's very windy. I don't know if you can hear on here. This as well, it's ridiculously windy. Yeah, so it's probably not the best of ideas. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. So yeah, we're just coming into the bit where it is burnt and it's not just a bit burnt, is it? It's you know, charcoal. I'm definitely not going on the roof, 100%, because I'm worried about what we stood on, let alone standing on what's above us. Jesus Christ, look, it's just straight outside. It's just charcoal holding up that whole roof. Literally think, could if land. This, if this has been burning a bit more. That would have just collapsed. Yeah, it would have took out the whole bottom floor as well on its way down. But what I'm saying is, if that, I know there's scaffolding up there, but if that's what's holding this up, it's a bit worrying really, isn't it? No, oh no, I like to have said that. Yeah, but I, I'm not so concerned about the floor. I'm more bothered about what's above my head. Look at that down there, down those stairs. You be careful. Jesus Christ, this place is absolutely gone. It's destroyed. It smells like weed up here. I keep weed. Maybe that's what the plant is in the bath. You think so? <laughs> okay, though, it's just straight out to the sky. That'd be amazing in bath, though, with an open roof, apart from when it's raining. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, anyway, you've got a sky, mate. Right? Look straight out. You get a shower as well when you're in bath. Oh my God. <laughs> Who do we think that is? Ethel's. Ethel. Well, were it Ethel that kept falling? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and they're broken. I'm not surprised. I smashed her face in on way down. Smashed the face on the side of the bath. We've got a lens there. One of your lenses. What are you going to do with it? Not great, Right, let's get out of this bit because I just feel like we're either going to go through floor I know, it's it. or ceiling's going to go through us. So one thing I've noticed about these rooms, this room is not very big. It's like just bigger than a box room. There's two beds in it. Have you ever known in care rooms, two people in a room? Not this size. I, I, I didn't think you could it, do it, it at all. all. No. Because they're supposed to have the privacy, especially at fucking a thousand pound a month to share a room with somebody else. I'm bottle for that. It's, it's ridiculous, it really is. And oh my God, I wonder what that were then. <laughs> I just got that touching my shoulder. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's not on at all. And the beds are horrible. I know you said earlier they probably would have another mattress on top, but still, they're shit, aren't they? They're not good. It won't be comfortable, would it? No. Especially if you're... Some of them are bed bound. Well, yeah, and the thing is, if you've got a mattress on top of that as well, it's probably quite a height to get on and off. I think the mattress is probably about that high. Well, it depends if it's because is it like it's almost like a single divan though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they're quite high, but anyway, 
in the, so did he say there were, I know, did he say there were a like, communal room or like something? Lounge or something there next door. Alright, let's go and have a look in there then. Oh. They packed them in here, didn't they? Yeah, didn't they? What we got? Let's have a look at the chairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 people in this room. Shackleton did it right. Trading here, isn't there? I know because these chair, those chairs are actually really expensive, aren't they? Like the orthopedic ones. Yeah. Although, I don't think they're particularly very orthopedic, but I'm guessing they may be the workers. Normally, you see the stuff like it's like smashed up TVs, don't you? Mm. But there's nothing. I've never seen a radio or anything, have you? No, really like, strange. Listening to old music, but what? And singing songs and singing songs. Or oh, maybe, or oh, maybe. They just, look, they had the big circle here, like that, and they had Doris and Betty fighting in the middle, and everybody had to like, have bets on it, and they were all cheering along. Yeah, and on the legs, they had really sharp knives tied to them. <laughs> oh, like in wheelchairs. In wheelchairs with little, like, jousting poles. Oh, like in Spartacus and Ben-Hur. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, God. Now, the thing is, we take the piss and we laugh, and the only reason we do it is because it is sad in these places, isn't it? And it is terrible, the things that went off. And if you don't laugh and joke, then it's very hard to get through these and, and not be feel come out feeling shit. But, yeah, I still want to think about Betty jousting in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> Old man Ted with his jouster. Oh, just a man. <laughs> come here, Betty. Yeah, but do you imagine... Um, What's he? John's son in here. Oh, He'd be smashing him up. He'd be He'd have gone wild, wouldn't he? Yeah. Watch out, he's got rage in his eyes, him. So he's next. Comes out, loincloth. <laughs> Big club. I am Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> you better imagine, you know the scene out of Spartacus where they all stand up? You imagine all this lot, they'd take fucking 25 minutes for them to get up. <laughs> <laughs> All going around the uh, circle, gets to old John. I'm Spartacus. I think I'm Spartacus, but I'm not... Oh, forget it. I, I'm not Spartacus. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a rest. Right. So we've found our way back to the top of these big stairs, which means we're pretty much done. There's the big piano down there, look. And this chandelier. I don't like it. I don't, shit. it is a shit chandelier. It's like they've tried to do a modern effect chandelier against the backdrop of a stained glass window, which I still love, even though it's smashed to shit. But that is wank. And the thing is as well, the thing that makes it even worse, it's got them light bulbs in, them modern light bulbs. Energy saving. Bulbs. Yeah. Why would you have a big chandelier with energy saving light bulbs in? Turn light on, it goes. Yeah, three days later it gets bright. I'm getting brighter. Just wait a minute. <laughs> the absolute shite. Yeah. Right, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a view of outside. It's a bit hard because obviously it's late and it's dark. But the building is amazing. And you can't really see, but it continues over there as well. It's a huge place. This is around the back. I will try and show you around the front. That's where the... The fire damage is up there where they've got the scaffolding up. But yeah, unbelievable place. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Round the back at the front of the building, and you can see 1850s, I think Andy said it was. It's unbelievable, and what a shame. Once again, another building going to waste. Look at that. That window, the big stained glass window, it would have looked amazing. Anyway, we're done. We're out of here. Right, so we have done, and obviously we are now in Liverpool. Well, we were in Liverpool before, but... Outskirts. Yeah. So, yeah, we've... It's been good in there. It was very trashed. I'm still freaked out by what happened there. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Stop being off put by other people. Mm -hmm. Put by fans. Stop it. So, anyway, we have got a bit of an announcement coming up soon. We are doing something and we want to tell you about it. But until then, you're going to have to keep guessing because we're not going to tell you yet. So, anyway, I don't know what I'm saying now because people are putting me off as they're walking past. I'm, I'm like lost for words. 
so we will leave it there thank you very much for watching please leave a like subscribe and we'll see you soon bye bye, bye.